Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include European Commission backs candidate status for Albania. EU contributes 246 million euros to UN agency for Palestinian refugees. And Rajoy revealed as prime mover for EU courts Article 29. A look at US, EU and Chinese climate action goals. Plus, EU regulators clear mask Nippon Yusen shipping alliances. It's Monday, June 16th. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, the top story from our homepage. European Commission backs candidate status for Albania. The European Commission recommended Albania be granted candidate status to the 28-member bloc on Wednesday, recognising its progress and urging it to step up its reforms before and after the decision of member states later in June. Based on our findings, we confirm without any doubt, with no conditionality or any reservations, the recommendations that the member states grant Albania candidate status, Enlargement Commissioner Stefan Fuhl told reporters in Tirana. EU contributes 246 million euros to UN agency for Palestinian refugees. The European Union on Wednesday signed a joint declaration with UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, for the two-year period 2014 to 2016. EU High Representative Catherine Ashton and Commissioner for Enlargement and Neighbourhood Policy Stefan Fuhl signed on behalf of the European Commission. The €246 million Euro contribution will allow the UN agency to provide essential education, health, relief and social services to some of the most disadvantaged communities in the Middle East. Rajoy revealed as prime mover for EU courts Article 29. Some weeks ago, the European Court made a quite extraordinary ruling that gives EU governments the ability to sanitise their online history by petitioning Google and other search engines to remove potentially damaging links to newspaper articles and other websites with embarrassing information. Although a working party is yet to meet and discuss best practice, how ironic, in enforcing the ruling as it stands, Italy would have the right to ask Google to take down all references to its blatant lies about economic recovery in the spring of 2013. Now, it will come as no surprise to discover, as I just have, that one of the prime influences for Article 29, the basis for this Orwellian policy, was everyone's favourite control freak Wolfgang Schobel. But perhaps more interesting, in the light of the information coming through from Spain over the last month, is that it was also pushed with some urgency by none other than Mario Rajoy of Spain. A look at US, EU and Chinese climate action goals. The new US effort to curb greenhouse gas pollution sees Washington rallying behind the European Union in the fight against global warming and might also help spur emerging economies like China to take action. Governments have set a goal of signing an agreement late next year in Paris to curb emissions of greenhouse gases. In this article, we take a look at how their current targets to reduce emissions compare. Now, let me introduce a new author from our community. Peter Brown has put together a fantastic new series, Democracy in a Federalised Europe. And broken into several parts, these articles break down various elements of the governmental constructs that are being or have already been deployed as we speak. We'll check out this first in the series on our front page of our website. The links are below. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>